giving all glory and honor to the Most High God, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai. Just talk a little bit about, you know what I'm saying, the um, creation, you know, the beginning, how the Most High God created everything, you know what I'm saying? He actually shows us every day that He actually exists, Yahweh, He exists, you know. It's just like, it's crazy, like, we read this, 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 this book, you know, that the Most High God, you know what I'm saying, spoke to His Holy Prophets, which they wrote, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, we read it, but we don't actually, like, 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 think, think about, like, um, just think about stuff, like, like, this is the same earth the Most High God created from the beginning, you know? Just want to talk a little bit about it. It says Genesis 1 and 7. It says, And Yahweh made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. So I just want to fair use. Four bays, breaking news. This 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 um video belongs to them. This happened five months ago. But you know what I'm saying? This proves that the most high God actually. Like, like, like this, this, like, it just proves the Bible always, uh, the Bible's a hundred percent accurate, real book. You know what I'm saying? The Esau, the white man did not write this book. The most High God is a black melanated man, just like you, you so-called black, blacks, you know, Judah, you know what I'm saying? Because Christ came from the same tribe, you know, but I don't want to get off topic, you know, but, um, just want to just show this real quick that the most High God made a ferment. You know, a ferment that separating the waters from above from the waters that's beneath. And to the new viewers and new subscribers that may not know this, you know, um, Genesis 1 and 7, the most high God created a ferment, basically that dome, that dome that's, you know what I'm saying, above us. And let's prove it. Fair use, they own this, you know. We don't own this. Don't strike the video, just fair use. Here they come. Here they come. Oh my God. Here they come. Here comes, yes, number one. It imploded. So that's a real video, so like it. That's a real video that happened five months ago. So I'm gonna read this again. And Yahweh made the ferment and divided the waters which were under the under the ferment from the waters which were above the ferment, and it was so. So the Most High God, there's waters that's above that ferment. So when you seen that rocket hit the dome, all that water just like it just proves that the Bible is 100% accurate. You know, and it says the waters, the basically the oceans, the rivers, all that down below, you know, separated, you know. So that just proves that the most High God, you know, Yahweh. And I just want to talk a little bit about the rainbow, you know, what I'm saying every time because it was raining, you know, since it's been storming all day. But uh, Lord willing, we get to see tomorrow, you know, what I'm saying today um it's the Sabbath, you know what I'm saying? So happy um, Sabbath to everybody that's scattered amongst the nations, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you know, and everybody that falls under that 12 charts. Happy Sabbath, you know. And it says, And Yahweh spake unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I behold, I, I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you. So, so like you, this is after the flood. You know, where the Most High God destroyed all creation because of the wickedness, you know. And it says, and with every living creature that is with you, of the fowl, of the cattle, and of every beast of the earth with you, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And Yahweh said, this is the token of the covenant which I make between me 
and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual covenants. I mean, not covenants, generations. So like, let's keep going. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be, and it shall be, for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. Every time. You go outside and it rains or if you're driving and it's raining, look up at the sky. If you see that rainbow that's in the sky, you got to think that's the most high God every time because he said he would not destroy all creation no more because on uh, with floods, with a flood no more. We got to actually start thanking the most high. You know what I'm saying? We got to be thankful, like it says, and um, um, pray for the chief things of life. You know, like it says, Sir, uh, Sirach 29 and 21. You know, we got to be on, um, we, we got to, you know what I'm saying? We need to cheat things for life, you know? So we got to actually be start being grateful, you know what I'm saying? And thank the most high. And his son, Yahweh Shai. And it says, and it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. Every time it's raining, after it gets done, go outside. Anytime, just look up at the sky and I guarantee you're going to see a bow. And we're going to figure out why the Most High God created that rainbow. And no, it's not for, I'm not going to say it because we know how we're in Babylon and they support that. But we stand with the Most High God. We stand against that because the Most High God made men upright. You know, that belongs to the Most High God. That does not belong to them. It belongs to the creator of heaven and earth. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud. And I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant between Yahweh and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And Yahweh said unto Noah, this is the token of the covenant which I, I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that, okay, that's it. So um, basically, man, like just to uh, wrap up this lesson, I'll praise the most high God through the spirit, of, the spirit of his son, Yahweh Shai. So I keep my fault, my fault. You know what I'm saying? Kind of late night, you know, but um. Just, you know what I'm saying, just be thankful, you know what I'm saying, for the things that we see. Be thankful for the grass that you walk upon, the trees that you see, the firmament, the waters that's above. You know what I'm saying? Be grateful for all these things, you know, because it says the world was made for our sakes. You know, we got to actually start be grateful for this, you know what I'm saying, grateful for the things, the cheap things, you know, the things that we take granted for you know what I'm saying? Most, most people just get up and don't even thank the Most High God for another day. He could have killed you. You know, it's really his son that's saving saving a lot of people from being in that in that ground. You know? So we actually got to be doing this thing sincerely. But all praise to so always go to the Most High God, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai. I'm going to say Shalom Israel.